Hello, and welcome back to Super Liminal. The dev commentary and collectibles continue. So for now, I think we're gonna not do the dev commentary because uh, I just need to redo this level again and find the constellation. And there's kind of no point having the dev commentary on while doing that, I suppose. So yeah, let's just go into this one again and have a look around and then we'll continue with the next chapter for the dev commentary. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's just look around dark areas more and hope for the best. I'm really not sure Hello. where I could have missed it at this Dr. point. Glenn Pierce. And despite I'm probably just going to like serenity zone in the look through this once and then if I don't find it, I might just have to get some external help. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Yeah, it's not just like here. Nope. Oh yeah, there was that one corridor that I was a little suspicious about before you like get teleported. Yeah, not not this one. Or was it this one? It might have been this one that I was thinking of, but yeah. That's not really anything. Yeah, I'm just missing the constellation in this chapter. Which is why we don't need dev commentary. And yeah, I was thinking here as well, since you can go around the back, or you can't here? Oh, I guess you can't in this one, because the shelves are, like, placed differently. So that's not anything. And here, also placed differently. So it is really just in that other one that you can go behind. That looks a little suspicious. Behind the shelves. Yeah, in that case, I guess this is nothing. There's not anything, like, here, is there? Where you could, like, go in there? Probably not. It's very hard to, like, actually climb up with these. Climb up here. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. It just looked weirdly, like, door-like. As if that could have been a place to go in. And I mean, I climbed up here on the vent, but did I go into this corner? I guess I should try that too. Because we don't really have any other ideas for now. Oh yeah, also. Gasp. Nice. First try. Oh, but I couldn't get on top of here. Right. Yeah, we had to do that, like, in there. Okay, so there's definitely nothing here, then. And I did get up here? Did I? Not sure I remember. That's too steep, yeah. I don't think there's anything up here. That doesn't seem like anything. Let's just ignore that. Here is kind of suspicious, but I feel like I... Oh, oh yeah, right. Yeah, I said the exact same thing last time. Like, look suspicious, but then... That's just, like, the intended puzzle. So that can't be it. 
I mean, it can still be here, I suppose. We should just, like, look around this whole place. If it's just in one of these specific hallways. Oh. No, I thought I, like, got into a hole. Nope, nothing. Behind me? I'm, I'm not sure where that was at this point. Yeah, I don't think it's here. And now we're just at this point already, and here, like in this place, I didn't fully explore because I assumed it wasn't here. Since you can see this in light, but maybe that's why it's here, because you, like, it's different from when it gets lit up later. Can't jump up there, apparently. Yeah. Nothing there. That looks weird. I guess that's the light from this window? Kind of? Looks strange? Yeah, nothing. You have to assume that if you see it, it's like a straight line in, and like if you just align properly, you will see the lights. As with the other ones. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Yeah, at this point forward, I feel like I kind of did check everything. I don't remember if... You checked? It's a cheeky one? Oh, no. Yeah, like, this would have made sense to me, because you can go behind here. But I've already checked this. Like, this would have made perfect sense. And then the other side is the same. Yeah, we'll see. I might need some hints then. Oh. I guess I wouldn't mind knowing, like, have I already passed it at this point? Or is it coming up? If you know. I'm not sure if you know exactly, like, how far into it it is. Yeah, this is just this part, which again could have something hidden that isn't there once the light is on. I have long passed it. Oh no. Alright. That's good to know, at least. Then we have, like, we have it narrowed down a little bit. So up until that point, something cheeky. What could that be? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous you don't like go just back out here once this turns still be off do you experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt why do I feel like everything is going wrong even when the sun is shining because yeah I did check all of this like on the way in case there was a path but don't see anything that's just a a thing. Fire extinguisher. You don't even get to the horror section? Well, define horror section. Is this the horror section already?
Because, yeah, everything seems normal here. And these doors are just closed now. Oh no, this one's still open. Yeah, it's not like we can do anything here. Yeah, I can't imagine how it would... Oh my god. Okay, I found it. That, like... Okay, the cheeky part about this is that this is like... This is eye level. So, like, you wouldn't even be able to walk into a door this size. Like, if these were slightly taller, I think that could actually make a little more sense. Like, the fact that you're bonking your head and then somehow squeeze through is a little strange. I have noticed that with some of the other ones as well. Yeah, that one is, is pretty mean. Okay, wait, guessing. Uh, what would this be? Uh, Jesus, I don't know. Let's just look like this. It's like lines of some kind. Yeah, I was thinking cake or like a fountain or something. Looks like it's from right here. Or a piano. Wait, have we had a piano already? Oh, it's Pac-Man? Oh, it's cheese. <laughs> it's cheese. Can't believe I found it. Well, I did have some, some help. It was nice getting that, like, narrowed down a little bit. I don't think I would mind that kind of help going forward. Like... I'll obviously look through the chapters once, but then knowing, like, roughly which section it's in is kind of nice. Cake is close to cheese. Yeah, true. Cheesecake. Good enough. So yeah, I guess that's it. We don't have to continue. Found the other half of the cheese. Is that, like, are you saying that because that would be your half, and what's missing is, like, someone else's half? Oh well, yeah, back to developer commentary, I guess. Hold on, let me just check again. It was just, like, fire extinguishers. Yeah, we don't need to worry about anything else here. Sure. Hello, Probably. and well, welcome hello. to the Superliminal <laughs> Developer Commentary. I'm Albert, Game Director. What's going on here? Myself and the rest of the team will be popping up every now and then as you play. It's, it's probably kind of just local another local one of those, like, kind of simple fire extinguishers that I've just, like, overlooked. Hi, I'm Logan, and I'm level designer on Superliminal. We wanted to do a unique alarm clock for each level, but this is the only one that survived that idea. Okay, what do you mean? Hasn't it been pretty unique? Like, these keep changing in certain ways? Oh yeah, <laughs> now that you see it, it's like, oh, that's not pitch black. What was I able to grab here? Was that just the door? Yeah. Isn't this the chapter that has the banana as well? And I'm not sure if the banana is anything. I'll just leave that. Yeah, here's where we start duplicating.
part of breaking expectations is changing your definition of an object. A door, which usually keeps people out, becomes a flight of stairs if it is cloned enough times. Okay, good talk. How many fire extinguishers did I miss? I don't know. It doesn't say one or more. We'll have to see. It also doesn't say, like, when I'm done, Attention. if I find the last Dr. one, so Pierce we'll just have to play through the whole the chapter. Risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects which have not yet been discussed. Yeah, shut up. I'm Chris. I was the producer and designer on Superliminal. Yeah, so this uh, right click to return sign that I bet you didn't even notice is I one did of not. the most unread signs oh, no. in the game. Oh no, no, I think I It comes up later. I think I saw that, right? The most unread signs in the game there too. Yeah, no, I I did see that, but like we can right click just to like fuse everything back together. I pay attention sometimes. Oh, this one? No, okay. That one seemed potentially missable. Let's talk about the smiley face. Because our goal was to break what smiley expectations, face? we prototyped a lot of weird moments like these. Some of them didn't work because they felt too meta. They would actually take people out of the game experience. This one, however, stayed because it was just subtle enough and playful enough that you could see it as a bout of insanity. Wait, what? What are they talking about? What smiley face? Yeah, right click to return. Smiley face. Does anyone see a smiley face? I remember there was some smiley face we found, like, elsewhere, but not here. It's not like the lights or anything making a smiley face. I'm not sure. Yeah, there was a smiley face on, like, an Easter egg. It's not this? I don't know what they mean by smiley face. Aside from the core resizing mechanic, I think cloning the objects is one of the more immediately enjoyable mechanics that we put into the game. When we ran playtests, this one would always have people smiling. I never smile. It's fun when they like alter the way the mechanics work. I'm strong. No! Get off! Oh, come on. Yeah, if anyone knows what's up with that, like, smiley face thing... Oh, there we go, that might have been the last one. Let me know. I don't remember seeing anything like a meta joke with a smiley face. I might have just missed it if it's like subtle enough. And wait, falling down here just took us back here, right? Yeah even though there's nowhere to fall from here. I just noticed you can't, like... Oh, no. You can't jump, like, whenever you want upstairs. Oh, interesting. Is it, like, 
there's a cooldown on jumping or something? Yeah. I think there's, there's like, a cooldown before you can jump again, but the cooldown... Like, because I'm jumping upstairs, I'm landing before the cooldown is done, so I can't jump again. Oh, the cursor? Was a smiley? Like, in that... in that area? Smiley face cursor. I don't remember seeing a smiley face cursor. Can we even see it at this point? Is it too late? Hmm. Might have to redo this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. But yeah, I feel relatively confident that that probably was the last fire extinguisher. Dr. Pierce is frantically so we can probably just like spelling and grammar relax and the watch the rest of the or listen to the rest of the commentary. In a attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Here's the banana. Aw, oh, there's no, like, dev thing explaining the banana. I was hoping we would have some, like, dev talk here. Yeah, nothing. I guess someone could do that, too. A quick superliminal banana search. Just see, like, is there anything to this, or is it just a for fun thing? It's just a banana. Sometimes a banana is just a banana that spins when you let go of it, for some reason. Wait, you think you just saw the smiley face? Did you? Like, on the reticle? I did not notice anything. I think it's just a banana. How disappointing. Oh, okay. We missed one more. Yeah, I guess it could be like a banana for scale joke. Yeah, here's the Attention. constellation. Dr. This one is like really obvious. Input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. Hi, my name is Ryan and I was the principal artist on Superliminal. Transmission ends. Players may notice the motif of the repeating purple hallway found throughout Clone. We wanted the player to have this feeling of, have I been here before? This seems pretty familiar, but we didn't want it to be too easy or to be 100% unclear. So we introduced differences such as lighting, prop placement, and hallway length. That way, for most players, it was something chewing away at the back of their minds, as opposed to being blatantly obvious. I mean, I feel like that's not true for just the purple hallway. I feel like that's true for pretty much the entire game. It keeps having like the same sort of thematic areas where you're like, am I just back or is this new? On the wall before the banana? Yeah, maybe you were just seeing Paridolia or something. Just seeing a, a face in the wall. This is apparently Will it was the cursor. Was the on Super <laughs> Lots of credit here to Max Hoarth 
who plays the role of Dr. Glenn Pierce, for really nailing this bizarre line in an impressively short number of takes. Uh, we were totally prepared to have him record the words in like their logical order and rearrange them after the fact, but his performance of doing it correctly, incorrectly, was phenomenal. Okay. Hello. This is the one that just like goes weird. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt World yeah. Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Yeah. I mean, it certainly is more effective than if they had just, like, recorded the correct line and then spliced it around. That would have just felt very, like, jarring. Yeah, maybe it's just, like, a random cursor change or something. Yeah, I mean, we might want to check it out again. I guess we're done now. Wait, you didn't notice originally it looks like it said... Did you mean backwards or backwards? And what, what said backwards? This one? The radio? Oh, you see, yeah, like... The whole line is is backwards, but he's recorded it just like the words are backwards or whatever, like the word order. Bill's friendly family produce. Farm to mind, mind to heart. I can't read the rest of it though. Yeah, that's too small. Seriously, we need a zoom button. Right after the subconscious something? Yeah, there's also, like, Twitch compression and stuff like that. Uh, let's... Hmm. If I quit now, then we'll get... Hello, and welcome to the Superliminal developer commentary. But I guess... I guess fair enough. Let's just check. Yep, got all of them. So let's just go back in and just see... Normally. Can we see a smiley? Like, around that section? Where exactly was it? Was it Attention. there, or was it Dr. a little Pierce further? Requires you to note the following risks of yeah, it was a little further. Significant memory loss like right after this one, right? And qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Oh, there it is! I see. Yeah, I never noticed that. Not the last time, nor when playing it for the first time. You just have a, a smiley reticle until, like, the next one happens, I guess. Yeah, now it's gone. I see. Okay, yeah. That's, that's a very subtle thing. Did not notice that at all. Thin apple. All right, and now we were missing everything. Oh God, we need extinguishers and alarms and constellation and blueprints in the dollhouse. The only thing I got was the chess piece and the chess piece was like where I went bigger or something and like saw it on top of one of the walls near the piano or before that or something. So yeah, gonna have to do a lot of searching in this one. This is also one of the harder ones because, yeah, you can, like, 
go bigger or go smaller, Hello, so maybe you need to do that. Hello, and welcome to the Superliminal Hello. Developer Commentary. I'm Albert, Game Director of Superliminal. Myself and the rest of the team will be popping up every now and then as you play. With subtitles open, you can see who is talking and oh, what their role Oh, I the don't is. think I ever went in here, did I? Wait. That's not because... No, I haven't found all of the... Blueprints. What's this about? Yeah, nothing other than the radio, I guess. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Ah, oh, invisible wall. Hmm. Yeah, maybe... No, it wasn't all the constellations either, because we're missing a constellation in this level. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to discuss the assumption that secret or out-of-the-way locations ought to contain valuable knowledge instead of pipes I see. filled with squandered human potential. They usually don't. If you think about it, probably shouldn't. It's bad design. Wait, what were you saying? Like, is it bad design that they're just pipes and nothing significant? Or is it bad design if all the secret areas don't contain, or like, contain good things that are important? There should be secrets that contain nothing. I'm not sure which way that was spun. Alright, but was that really just from all of these? Because it looks like we're still missing like two or something, at least. I guess we'll have to come back. That's good to know, though, that... What is this? Chapter 6? Dollhouse was, like, good for this? Yeah, we get some... commentary there. Oh, that's when you get half the blueprints? Okay. Hi, I'm Logan, and I'm level designer on Superliminal. This room kind of happened by accident. We originally just put a cloud video texture as placeholder as a way to expand on the cloud motif. It ended up working so well and fitting the tone so well that we made this a private theater room in the sleep clinic. It evokes a nostalgic and relaxing but slightly creepy feeling which seemed to fit the game perfectly. I don't really get any creepy feelings from this room. Yeah, it just feels like one of those, like, relaxation videos, which makes sense for, like, a sleep clinic. No! Hello, my name is Dr. Stop it. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently. And discontinue Did that count? whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. I'm not sure if that brown one, like, always resets or if that was one I haven't pulled before. Not much else to do here. Did I want to, like, try and go, like, to the left or something or right here? No, that wasn't here. There was some... Some point where I fell down past some stuff, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I could have hold, held to the side and landed somewhere. So I don't know how big we should be here. Also, that was a weirdly jarring cut. It, like, cut. Oh yeah, I'm too small. Let's see how small I can be while still climbing up. Yeah, there we go. Hey, this is Matt. I did the music and sound. The sound effects that probably took the most tweaking we definitely all associate it with the resizable objects. For them, 
I had to make a collision matrix so that the sound of you dropping a box or a cube would smoothly change from its smallest to its largest size and anywhere in between. So to achieve that, there were lots of different layers of the sounds, lots of automated pitch shifting, speeding up, slowing down, lots of crossfading between different layers of the sound and a lot of trial and error to get it feeling right inside the game. Yeah, it does feel good. I especially like the, like, different ones, the ones that have, like, different effects, like the duck or what was it? The, there was some other one that, like, made a note or something. And yeah, here was the chess piece, I believe. Just like, on top of this, right? Like, it's not there now, but I'm pretty sure it was up here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is this feels the case, like the type of area that might have this message in error. A constellation, like yeah, going through here or something. Well, it's not something sneaky where it's like you can only go into the constellation while the light is out. That would be very sneaky. Oh yeah, and here you fall, right? Where is that? And I have nothing to, like, bridge the gap, so I can't really do anything. Yeah, under the stairs, I think I checked there, didn't I? Yeah, nothing. I think I checked there, like, the first time I was here. Yeah, if we had an object, I could get across here. But I haven't seen any objects so far. Yeah, the only thing we've had is the dollhouse itself. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just have to fall down. Would you have gotten a soda can? Has there been a... a soda vending machine? Oh yeah, in the hotel corridor. Yeah, okay, let's check that. Because, yeah, that would be a nice, like, sneaky way to do it. Oh, no, yeah, we, we can't bring it here anyway, so that's not going to work. But, yeah, that would have been a cool idea. And, yeah, I can't even get one anyway. I'm not sure if this is, like, decided based on the level or if it's, like, random or something. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can get across that dark pit. No? 
That was not a part where you fall down? I, I guess not. I thought for sure it was. Okay, well then, like, let's look at that again. It's like every time they have a corridor like this, it's always a pitfall, but not this one time. I wonder how much of the music is, like, fixed. Like, does this song always play when you get to this part? Because I kind of don't remember it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we, we can do much here. Here's the window part. Wasn't there something about this where I wanted to like go in either very small or very large or something? But I think I kind of did. Didn't I like load this a whole bunch of times? What do we even do now? Oh, there. I see, yeah. There's one window you can pick up. Yeah, like we could try and make it just as big as humanly possible. I mean, probably about all we can do. It's a weird effect. Yeah, it's very similar to Antichamber, where, like, the first time you play through the game, everything feels very seamless, because you're not, like, looking for the seams, but, yeah, once you start playing around with, like, exactly how the game accomplishes what it accomplishes, it starts getting a little, like, wonky. But, I mean, that's fair enough, like, if it works the first time. Yeah, I did go in here as, like, bigger than this and looked around all these places and I didn't see anything. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Hello? What do you mean? Okay, that was weird. This could have something. You think this is where I got both a chess piece and a blueprint? I don't even remember getting a blueprint from this level, but yeah, I guess just because it was uh, grayed out doesn't mean that I didn't get any blueprints. And we can't really do anything here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, yeah, or no, the this part. loss of everything you've This puzzle ever existed for a long time, but it took a while to figure out what the art was going to be because the bouncy castle used to just be a weird L-shaped block. Eventually, we landed on the pool motif and the bouncy castle and added a little bit where you go inside the vent. Sure. Very simple and to the point. Stop. Yeah, there's nothing like on top of the castle there. And up here, it did look around. Do 
use the bouncy castle to mess around the last room? Wasn't there a a wall we went through? No, I guess not. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. This is almost certainly something up here then. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that makes sense. Blueprints are one of the secrets that we add to the game, yep. and if you find them all, you'll unlock we know. a special secret. The diagrams are actually top-down wireframe views oh, of yeah. parts of the levels. Thank you for reminding and me. They are blue. Yeah, I guess this is just this locker room, as far as I can tell. Yeah, and then can we, like, do anything else here? Yeah, that's just this part. This is as far back as we can go. This would have kind of made sense as well to have something chess piece but I guess not I think that's everything we can do with the the castle here I always forget you can rotate stuff instead of just placing it down and picking it up again. Too much. Yeah, I did find this room to be a little suspicious, but, like, I don't think we can get anything in here since there's walls preventing objects, like, all around. Yeah, just, like, picking it up and walking around or, like, putting it down again is a very second nature, but honestly, I'm not even sure it's that useful to rotate around like there's not many situations where you really need to rotate i feel and what was it here like i wanted it to be small or did i want it to be big i don't remember let's make it a little small first And yeah, this would also let us, like, go down in the shower room as a tiny babby. Maybe I could, like, squeeze in somewhere, but, hmm. I'm not sure that's really worth it. I guess it might be worth a check. Because we have portals that you can resize, the player can freely change their own size. This actually created a design problem because you could never predict what size the player was supposed to be. Yep. And if we dynamically change the size of the geometry later on in the level, things could break really easily. So instead, we added these portals, like this doorway over here, which changes size in order to resize you back to the normal scale of a human. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering yeah, like every single one of our reset, reset portals. Protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system. I don't know if I need to be patients. smaller than this. Like, we don't want to go too small or it anyway, causes problems. We're headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly.
Wait, how do we want to do this now? This way, I guess, to make it like as small as possible. That should be okay. Oh god. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> get sucked down the drain. I don't think being bigger would really matter here, either. Like, even if I was slightly bigger, I don't think we can, like, climb up anywhere significant. This would be really cool, though, if you had to be small and then, like, under one of these was the constellation room or something. I kind of doubt it, though. They don't seem to do that kind of stuff. Like, even though I'm small enough to go under here, I'm not going to be able to. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the showers are really, like, the only main weird thing that could potentially be something. This is why we need a sprint button. This is very much not worth it. I would be very surprised if this is actually something you're supposed to do. This lip isn't gonna be too much for me, is it? Oh god, is it? <laughs> Did I go too small? I think we're fine. At least I assume we can just like load checkpoint to get back. So I don't have to walk back. Yeah. At least we have this nice, soothing music to listen to while just walking. I'm imagining you still can't go through. You can! Oh, interesting. I thought, like, that would just be a, an invisible wall. But nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. Yeah, I don't I don't 
don't think you're really meant to even like be in here, judging by this. Yeah, that would have been a cool place for a secret. Well, kind of cool. Because it takes so long to get here. Yeah, we might also want to go even further back. But I don't think there was anything behind there that I would want. Yeah, so that is, like, physical. Oh? Oh? Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is definitely not intended. Oh no, am I stuck now or something? No, this is just going behind them, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think they expected this. And what was here, like, at the back? It's just completely, like, misaligned. This whole thing. Yeah. I guess it just needs to look fine from, like, the outside perspective, and that's... That's it. Though you could get into one of these, right? Whichever one it was. Don't remember if that one was, like, also jank. I don't want to go this way just in case we get, like, stuck at the edge there. I imagine I could have gotten all the way out. And... Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, we definitely broke it. <laughs> You're not supposed to do this. It's that, like, thing again where I'm super tiny. So I'm, like, stuck because even, like, gravity is too thick for me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because we have portals that you can resize, the player can freely change their own size. This actually created a design problem because you Suddenly can never we're big. what size the player was supposed to be. And if we dynamically change the size of the geometry later on in the level, things could break really easily. So instead, we added these yeah, What did we do here again? We first here, get big? Changes size in order to resize you back to the normal scale of a human. The emergency exit protocol shortly. Changing the player size through portals has a couple oh, yeah. of weird side yes, effects it does. when it comes to programming. You have the obvious ones, such as needing to change the player collider, movement speed, jump height, and mantling distance. You have a couple of less obscure ones, such as needing to change the camera's far and near clip planes, so geometry is less likely to clip through your camera as you get smaller. Another interesting one we'll talk about later. The suspense. Yeah, I kind of need to be even bigger, I think. Hold on. Oh. Oh no, we just need to do it, like, multiple times, yeah. Right? Because I, I don't think I can, like, reach it from here. Yeah, now it's fine. Another weird thing about player resizing is that gravity is actually constant yep. across all sizes. So imagine you're in the perspective of an ant, 
and a giant shoe is coming down from the sky to step on you. That shoe in your mind might take a couple seconds, but in real life, it would be instant. Whatever size you are, large objects traveling through space should feel like they are moving slowly. So when we change the player size, we're actually also adjusting gravity in order to compensate for this as well. This is physically incorrect, but this feels better for the player. Unless you make yourself super tiny, in which case it kind of breaks. You make yourself extra big. I, we have in this room before and it doesn't really do anything. And here we already made ourselves big before as well. But there could definitely be something hidden in this area. Okay, I don't want to be like too big, but just a little bit so we can look around. Eh, I, I think I want to be a little bigger. And we can see, like, if I'm big, we can see if there's anything else suspicious here. Because I did kind of look around a lot. Yeah, that's the blueprint I found. And yeah, I think that was it. I don't think I found any chess piece or something here. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Should probably be a little smaller here. Yeah. And then here... I don't remember if I got up here? Doesn't really seem like I could do anything. Yeah, I'm still missing a lot in this level and I have no idea where any of it would be. Hi, my name is Ryan, and I was the principal artist on Superliminal. So that's my cat. <laughs> His nice. name is Finn, and he's a good boy. And we only had a day or two left before finishing the game, and we needed to figure out what kind of posters to put in our elevators. So I decided to have a little bit of fun with it, and this is by far my favorite, of course. The Cardboard Lovers Association also makes a nice little nod to the cardboard dollhouse. Oh yeah, I also just realized, what if we take these things? Because that's not a kill field. So what if we take these through here and place one, like, up here? I don't believe I did this. Oh, it's not physical? That would have been cool. Damn it. Yeah, I can't do anything here. That's a shame. Yeah, that would have been a cool way to hide something here. Just like, have a ledge or something up here that you have to place this on. There is so much stuff up there, but I'm not sure how to get it to stay there. And then you could just, I mean, I guess we could just platform up using these, I suppose. But I don't think I can really do that either.
I could try and get a little bigger to begin with here. Yeah, being small here, I don't think would do anything. It would be if there's something, like, behind something that is a potential thing to try. I kind of doubt it, but yeah, we could try it. Yeah, I guess let's just make myself tiny. Like, very tiny. Maybe that's too tiny, we'll see. Still works, but now it's gonna take forever to walk around again. I just want to check, like, behind here, behind here, and maybe over there. That's kind of everything. Yeah, I'm probably too small. I kind of, like, imagine stuff like this isn't going to be needed for things like the constellations, because I think they want you to be a very specific size in the constellation rooms. Like, you've always just been normal size and bonking your head on the threshold. So I kind of doubt you can, like, make yourself an ant and be inside one of those. All right, that's one. Man, it's a shame there's nothing up here. Or if there is, I don't know how to how to do it. If there was somewhere we could like place one of the doors and then go in and end up up there, that would have been cool. Okay, there's some. Invisible wall here, yep, nope. Oh, I see, it's it's this, yeah. Oh, jumping. Oh yeah, the hitbox is like everything that this encompasses. Hey, now we can read the fine print down there, at least, when I'm tiny. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess I could have just placed the smaller door, like, where I want it instead. But too late now. Yeah, no way this is anything. If if anything at all, it would just be like an Easter egg or something. I'm just getting stuck here, yeah. It's so small that, like, it can't even be as small as I've made it. It'll default back up to, like, something else. The default size. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, uh, I want to be, like, a little smaller. Just so we can read the text. Something like that, maybe? Agenda. Roll call. Keynote speech from Finnegan T. Sanderson regarding cardboard varieties. 
break treats available in the lobby. Vote to institute ban. Vote to inst. What? Vote to institute ban of boxes that are too small to fit into. I see. Vote to institute, like institute as a verb, a ban of boxes that are too small to fit into. Nah. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, pretty sure I missed a lot here. I gotta sneeze as well. We've seen that one before. Alright, so... I did get the fire alarms, but not the fire extinguishers. And not the constellation. And we got the blueprints. Hmm. Yeah, where could those be? Where did I miss an extinguisher? And where the hell would this constellation be? I guess the extinguisher I can't really get too much help with. Because they're not really, like, hidden or anything. It's just, I just have to find it, I guess. But yeah, if anyone wants to, like look up and give a vague hint for the constellation, like which general area it's in. Or like close to which section would be nice. It's close to the start again. Oh, well, I found it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that one is less cheap, I feel. That one makes sense. Okay, uh, guessing. Let's get a little sneak peek. Looks like it's here. But what would this be? Hmm. We already had the piano, right? I can't... I, I'm starting to forget, like, which constellations we've even had at this point. Yeah, I've got nothing. A coat hanger. It's definitely not a coat hanger. It's a chair? Yes, yeah, it's a chair. Alright. That's another one done. So now we're just missing an extinguisher somewhere here. And that's a bit of a problem, because yeah, I imagine it's... I mean, maybe there's, like, walkthroughs for all the fire extinguishers. But I kind of don't imagine there's, like... I don't imagine it's very easy to explain where a fire extinguisher is and, like, know which one I have or haven't touched. I guess someone could say if if you can find the information about like how many fire extinguishers are in this level, then we could just keep count. But no, I guess that that wouldn't really matter. Like, yeah, I'm obviously missing one or more, so like I'm probably missing one, so it wouldn't really mean anything. Can't go in the chimney. Yeah, that one is just like broken every time. Oh god, I'm okay. I thought it was like too big. Seems like it's eight. Uh, I already lost track. Was that two or three? Yeah, I guess knowing how many there are. Really? That one? I swear I've done this one before. And that's everything? That's everything. Okay. Alright. I think we can do one more maybe today. Maybe not like everything here. I might be able to play through the developer part. And then like I'll probably not get everything and then we'll... We'll have to do the rest next time. We'll see. 
Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to the Superliminal Developer Commentary. I'm Albert, Game Director of Superliminal, myself and the rest Wait, of Wait, I, I just checked and I already comment. forgot. What did I need here? Like everything except something? Except chess piece. Okay. Hello, and welcome Hello. to the Superliminal Developer Com- Hi, this is Will O'Neill, and I was the writer on Superliminal. The emergency exit protocol is the shortest lived character in the game, but my heart huh? really goes out to him. Oh yeah. Because just like a triangle player in an orchestra, he has precisely one job and he waits patiently for his moment to do it, only of course to have it snatched away just as that moment arrives. I think many people can identify with this feeling. So sad. This poor guy. I can't get up there. Wasn't this where I, I did like jump around a lot? We found drinks cans and stuff, yeah. And I tried to get up on all of these places. But it was like just kind of too hard to do. It just feels like this section almost certainly has something, but I don't know how you would find it. Or like how you would get up to it. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Yeah, there's the soda. We can get two sodas. Oops. Oh, come on. Yeah, it certainly seems like we could maybe get up here. Whoa! Patient was God damn improperly it. Oriented. Physics in this game. I don't know how I even make that happen sometimes. I'm just like walking around and it just shoots me up in the sky. I already went up there, didn't I? I think so. Can't really get up like that. It doesn't look like anything is there anyway. Unless there's a path into a consolation, but I kind of doubt it. Can't stand on that. No 
it's just shrinking again. I'm just trying to, like, get it bigger, but have it, like, balance. Now I'm not gonna be able to... Oh, I can get up onto it. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, I guess this is not a vaultable ledge. So I feel like I definitely should be able to vault that, yeah. So never mind that. Damn it, no, stay up there. Ah. Yeah, we need to get even higher than this. And I don't think I can make these, like, that big in here. It's kind of limited. That's an interesting position. Uh-huh. Okay, can I now, like, do this up here? And I wanted to, like, lie down. Yeah, this way. Ah, not quite enough. Yeah, this level might have had a couple of those, like, fall down the black pit areas, which maybe I've missed something in, like, if you can get across those. Oh, come on! That's so close. Oh, there's, like, a giant invisible wall there. That might be the, uh... The lamp, though, if I can, like, get around the lab, uh, lamp. God damn it, my phone just crashed again. Oh, man. I don't know what's happening with it. It's very annoying. I feel like you should be able to ledge grab that if it was possible. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like you can. I might might just have to give up on this. Like, I can't really get this bigger than it is, I don't think. No. I'm giving up. I, I don't understand. I'm not sure if there's something here, but it's just like, it doesn't seem reasonable to get up to it if there is something. We've been up there already, and that was nothing too. Like, I jumped around a lot of places here, and there was just nothing, so... I'm just... kind of fed up with this. It just seems weird that there wouldn't be something Improved in here, hypothesis. but Patient as far as I can tell, there's not. Therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. And yeah, like here, didn't I also try and get up here with the soda cans? Instruction: Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis. Or does this as all orientation work you forward? Resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Yeah. So maybe I didn't do that part. 
maybe I could like do something at the end there. Don't remember how that happened. I wonder how far you can get the first time in this. Something up here, maybe? I think I looked around here and there's like nothing nothing to grab. It doesn't seem like I can get up anywhere, but I mean this could have a constellation or something. That would make sense. What is that? Tiny white dot. I don't know what that is. Yeah, this seems like a perfect constellation place, but no. I think we're out of luck here, too. It seems like something could be up here if you could somehow get up there, but we would need items. And I couldn't, like, get a soda from in here. Since we didn't even get out of the room. It just doesn't really seem like anything is here. Oh, this one I probably missed. Nope. I thought I did. Yeah, I think that's everything here. Oh, come on. There we go. Can I even pull that fire alarm? It gets very ominous around here. I looked around, jumped around here, that was nothing. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnisculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile There we go. Of the dream state. Fire is extinguished. Empty all fire extinguishers. All right. Now we're officially done with that. Don't need to wall. Don't need to worry about extinguishers anymore. Here, I think I just fell through, right? So, like... This would make a lot of sense if it had something. I guess not. Damn. Yeah, that would have been a cool place to hide something. 
I don't think we can go anywhere else. Yeah, didn't I go up here and there was like a TV or something weird? Yeah. Not sure what this is supposed to be. TV and cheese. Wait, now see what happens when you click on the fire extinguisher? They shoot fire, do they? I didn't even see that. Hello, Fox Fires and Neurovac. Yeah, no constellation here. I'll have to find a different one. Here's one. Uh, they don't seem to shoot fire. That would have been uh, a nice little thing. Like, you collect all of them and now they're just a fun change. We have to restart? I see. Hi, I'm Logan, and I'm level designer on Superliminal. We had all these surprise moments prototyped, and so I wondered what it would feel like if we had a whole level of surprise moments. I wanted it to be fast-paced. The working title for this level was Chase. This is the boss level of the game, basically. Yeah, it kind of it's does feel like that. by the third act of the movie Brazil, how it gets crazier and faster-paced over time. Okay, I don't know that movie. Yeah, it is, it is a very, like, high-intensity chapter, just, like, constantly weird thing after weird thing, and, like, some of the harder puzzles, I feel, as well. Uh, like, right now? What did we do again? Right now? Didn't I get stuck here last time as well? What is it you do? Door? What about the door? We had all these surprise moments prototyped, and so I wondered what it would feel oh, like. Oh, door. If we had a whole that level door. Of ah, I see, moments. yeah. I wanted it to be fast paced. The working title for this level was Chase. This is the boss level of the game. And then, yeah, we already went up here it's and there was something, the but let's just the movie go Brazil. up again. Uh, it gets crazier and faster paced over time. Oh, that's too far away. Damn, that would have been pretty good. I need to be bigger, but still, like, more slanted. Is that still too far away? Yeah, still too far away. God damn, it's so hard to get the like exact angle right. This is too steep, I think. Oh, no, it works. Just barely. I thought there was something here. Wasn't there like a a blueprint or something up here? Just nothing. Huh. Oh, a chess piece? Yeah, that would have made sense. Uh, I am stuck. Okay, there we go. See any fire alarms? Yeah, no. Egg. We break out of an Easter egg. I don't think I really noticed that last time. Doesn't look like there would be anything else here.
no constellation. Hmm. Oh yeah, here's this one. This is like my favorite troll in the game. Changing perspective. Of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios yeah. with solutions Nothing else that could here. not be found otherwise. I don't think we can do anything on the way down. Grab it. It's perfect right there. Nope. Whoa! I'm just going back up! Okay. I really have a knack for, like, messing up the physics somehow. Oh yeah, this is this place. This is suspicious, this one door, but, like, how could I get up there before everything falls apart? This definitely seems like it could be something. Maybe if you're, like, really careful? Oh? No. 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 I doubt that's possible. And yeah, like, climbing up here using these just seems so obnoxious. I can't imagine that's something you can do. Like, it would just be ridiculous. It's possible, you've seen it done. But in saying that, I assume that means, like, it's not required. Because if there was an actual secret or something, then that would not... You wouldn't really put it that way. So I think I'm just gonna give up on that. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, this is not even the chapter I was thinking of. As like, the last boss. Hey, this is Matt. I did the music and sound. Nothing here. The music throughout the game really goes through a significant trend. There's something silly up there? Oh, so there is something. But, like, how would you do it? Even I don't see how it would be possible to, like, stack up things all the way there. significant role to play. It changes as you progress through the game. I switch to different types of piano, starting out with a piano Bill Evans famously recorded on. Later, switching to a more modern sounding instrument. I double it with prepared piano sounds sometimes. I use felt piano and gradually more that just crushed everything as the game evolves. But at the heart of each piece is the piano. Easier than you think? I doubt that. I think if it was easier than you think, maybe you just got lucky or something. I can't even, like, get started. Like, as soon as you drop a thing, everything just gets fucked up every time. You would need to, like, find some extremely stable position and, like, that just seems insane. And I'm, like, running out of things to use. I think you do it before the floor collapses? Yeah, I can believe that more, but I'm not sure how to do, do that. Since, like, as soon as you make the staircase big, it just freaks out everything.
And yeah, now I just don't have, like, access to anything else. Oh, here's a table. You know what I mean? We have more stuff, but I, I can't be asked. Like, that is just too obnoxious to try and do. Oh, it is this level. I thought we were done, but no, I guess it keeps going. Yeah, with this puzzle, that's the one I was thinking of. Well, no, wait, shit, I looked at the wrong thing. Damn it. Wait. You look where you don't want to go. Yeah, I got confused. And then this part, we had a blueprint up there, but nothing... Nothing else. What? What happened? No commentary on that? Well, the commentary we saw was the same one from the elevator. Like it was grayed out. Yeah, we can't take anything through here. What did you do here again? It was like some night piece somewhere. Just through here, I guess. And I did climb up here. I remember that, and there was nothing. every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Yeah, nothing here. Doubt there's anything like up there. Oh, that's that was the place. I mean, there's an Easter egg. I don't know if you can land even higher up here, but that was the place I was thinking of. Yeah, I mean, we have an Easter egg. Hi, my name's Chris. Yeah, I was the producer and designer on Superliminal. I don't know why it is, but people really like finding gaps in the walls and crawling into them. Yeah, For our we've heard this. Hidden spaces in the game. We added... Hi, my name is Ryan, and I was the principal artist on Superliminal. Oh. Hi there. There I'm probably Steve. was something there if I didn't pick this up. The original idea for Labyrinth was to explore earlier areas, but with a new spin on them. Sometimes, it was a matter of adding new interactive moments to turn things on their head, while for others, we would take existing locales and give them a new lick of paint and set dressing. Something familiar, yet fresh and unexpected. That instability is perfect for the mood and for general world building too. Conceptually, different patients would be bringing different experiences with them into the dream state, and we wanted to reflect that. Yeah, I'll have to remember to check that again. But like, it would be kind of weird if things were hidden in here. In that first one, maybe. But after that, they just get so, like, brief that it's kind of impossible to look around. Yeah. And I definitely did already go here. Yeah, I have pulled that fire alarm. Not sure what fire alarms I could be missing still. We could get in here again? I mean, 
I don't think I can, but like, that could be a thing. Probably not though. Oh, that's the one I missed. Still don't have all of them though. We can't go in there. My name is Phil Fortier, and I was the graphics programmer on Superliminal. And Have we even heard this guy before? Easter egg design. Is this his only so contribution? Project, this infinite elevator sequence wasn't actually infinite. It was just a very large block of, I don't know, 20 by 10 elevators. And the performance as a result wasn't very good. And the illusion could be ruined if you walked all the way to one side. So one of the things I did was actually make it infinite. So there's a much smaller block of real elevators and the player gets teleported seamlessly by portals on each end. Um, and so the end result is an infinite elevator sequence that you can just go in one direction forever. Well, that explains that. So I don't think we need to worry about finding anything here. Yeah, now we're just back there. We'll just like keep looping back. But what was it? What tell was it you even find here? I don't remember what tells you, like, yeah, I noticed the teleport there. Yeah, okay. What if we go the opposite direction of where the arrows are telling us to go? I'm gonna try that. I'm just back at the start. Okay, I think that's that's it. Pretty sure that's nothing then. And we like keep going back. So I guess if you know exactly which corner that thing is in, no? Could you just like go this is weird. Yeah, I don't know exactly how this works. Because you couldn't just go, like, from this point, just two steps here. That wouldn't work. And I did look around here and didn't see anything. How much more was there to this sequence? Because, yeah, it's kind of at the time where I want to end it off. Like, I, I kind of want to end it off, like, 20 minutes ago. But this just kept going. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Yeah, stair con again. We've seen that. Okay, I think I think I might have to like leave it here. I don't remember exactly what was how much more there was to this. I know we found like a blueprint or something jumping up here. But, like, let's just... I, I'm gonna have to replay that anyway, I guess, to find some of those other things. So, yeah. I just wanna leave it off here for now. I'm getting a little, like, you know, brain melted. So, we'll keep looking at this, looking for these pesky collectibles next time. And, yeah, once we're done with the developer commentary, I guess I'll have to see, like, what else there is to, to do and stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll take a break and then we'll do some Enter the Gungeon.